the two plates are joined together using two bolt that is bolt number 1 and the bolt number 2 the shear strength yield for the material that is sys value is given as 250 taking the factor of 50 equal to 6 the diameter of the bolt we have to find out the given force is given as equal to f and this force is also equal to f so we'll show this force on the top plate is equal to f and this force is equal to also equal to F because of these two forces so the bolt will fail by shear on this cross section that is a circular cross section so we have given the value of S Y S is equal to 250 mega Pascal factor of safety is N is given as 6 it means that we have allowable shear that is tau allowable will be equal to SYS divided by a factor of safety that is we are 250 divided by 6 so in this case the allowable shear stress tau allowable is same as equal to tau is 41.67 mega Pascal since only two plates are used and that is a lap joint so failure is by single shear but we have two number of bolts are used so in this case the joint will fail by single shear and we have two number of bolt so external force f must equal to the number of bolt that equal to 2 area in the shear is pi by 4 multiplied by d square multiplied by the allowable shear stress tau allowable we have given the value of force equal to 8 kN is 8000 equal to 2 pi divided by 4 into d square is unknown and we have allowable shear stress equal to 41.67 mega pascal mega pascal is same as newton per mm square mm square and mm square cancel the unit is balanced if you solve this you will get the diameter of the bolt will be equal to 11.06 mm Two plates are fastened by means of three bolt as shown in figure. So we have bolt number one, bolt number two, and bolt number three. If the permissible shear stress for the material is 50 mega Pascal, that is the value of tau allowable is given, then the diameter of the bolt rounded off to the next integer we have to find out. In the edge view, we'll find here the force F is acting leftward and the force of 8 kN for the bottom plate will act rightward this bolt 1 will fail in single shear as well as this bolt will also fail in single shear so this bolt will also fail in single shear so all these three bolt will fail in single shear and we have given the allowable shear stress equal to 50 mega pascal so failure is purely due to shear one shear area you can observe at this cross section and two cross section we can observe at this point so all the three bolt here will fail by single shear so we have f is equal to number of bolt equal to 3 for single shear we are resisting area is pi by 4 multiplied by d square multiplied by tau allowable we have given the force is equal to 8000 multiplied by 3 number of bolt pi by 4 diameter of the bolt we have to find out and we have given the allowable shear stress equal to 50 substitute and take the under root you will get the diameter d you will get the exact value of the diameter equal to 8.24 mm you have to find out the value to the next integer value that will be equal to 9 mm so the required diameter will be equal to 9 mm 9 mm series is not normally available so you have to select the diameter d is equal to 10 mm that is you have to select m10 bolt m10 means that we have nominal diameter equal to d so core diameter will come to 8.24 mm one numerical will take from gate 2014 exam for the three bolt system that is shown in figure the bolt material has a shear yield strength of 200 mega pascal factor of safety is given as 2 the minimum metric specification we have to find out whether m8 is suitable m10 is suitable m12 is suitable or m16 is suitable so we have a force f is acting equal to 19 kilonewton and therefore all the three bolt will fail in a single shear 
and we have a single shear on the area equal to pi by 4 d square. We have given the value of S Y S that is the shear yield strength equal to 200 megapascal. So we have 200 megapascal. Factor of safety N is given is equal to 2. So we have allowable shear stress tau allowable will be equal to S Y S divided by 2. That is we have 200 divided by 2 is equal to 100 megapascal will be the allowable shear stress. All the three bolt here will fail in single shear. So force F required will be equal to the number of bolt multiplied by shear area equal to pi by 4 multiplied by D square multiplied by allowable shear stress is tau allowable. Force required is 19 kilo Newton is 19 into 10 to the power 3 Newton number of bolt equal to 3 into pi by 4 into diameter square that is unknown and the allowable shear stress you have to take as 100. Solve for D take under root in that case you will get the diameter D is close to 9 mm. So 9 mm is not available so we have to go for 10 mm. It means that you have to select the bolt of size M10. So M10 choice B is correct choice. A nut and bolt is tightened such that all the threads on the bolt are in contact with 12 threads on it. Nut with a shank diameter of 20 mm, shank diameter means DO and the core diameter of 15 mm, DC is equal to 15 mm, that is DI is equal to 15 mm, determine the sharing stress in the nut and bolt. if. It is subjected to force of 37,000 Newton with a thickness of the root is 5 mm. So we'll show here the section of the bolt and nut. Halfway section will show this time. So here the half section of the bolt is shown with a square thread. For simplicity I will use here square thread and the nut and all the 12 threads are engaged here. So total number of threads is equal to 12. We have given here the nominal diameter equal to 20 and the core diameter equal to 15 mm. So we have nominal diameter will be this diameter that equal to DO and we have nominal diameter is given as equal to 20 mm. And the core diameter is DC is given as 15 mm. The value of the force is 37,000 Newton and the thickness of the root, thickness of the root you can observe here. This is thickness of the root which is normally P by 2 is T is equal to 5 mm. We will represent the force F here. In that case because of a shear the bolt will fail as well as the nut will fail. So this area is fail in the bolt. This area is also fail in the bolt. This area is also fail in the bolt. We have total circumference for the core will be equal to pi into dc we have n number of thread so total length will be equal to pi into n into dc and the force is applied vertically so it will fail in shear this figure represents the development of the shearing area for the bolt so this area is nothing but the total circumference that will be equal to pi we have diameter equal to dc multiplied by n number of threads multiplied by thickness t and the force is acting parallel to this area. So this one is a case of a transfer shear and this one is a development for the bolt surface. So in this case the shear stress in the bolt will be represented by tau suffix b for bolt is same as equal to force divided by total resisting area will be equal to pi into dc multiplied by n multiplied by t where t is the thickness of the thread so we have force f is given as 37000 newton so we have 37000 newton divided by pi we have core diameter is given as 15 number of threads equal to 12 and the thickness t is equal to 5 so we get a shear stress tau b in this case will be equal to 15.7 
न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर ई से मैज इक्वल टू मेगा पास्कल एज पर एज नट इज कंसिडर्ड वी आर नट बॉडी इज शोर हियर सो दिस एरिया विल फेल इन शेयर दिस एरिया विल बी सेम एज इक्वल टू अगेन द सरकमफरेंस दैट इक्वल टू पाई डी जीरो मल्टीपाइड बाई एन नंबर ऑफ थ्रेड सो ओनली इन दिस केस इस ऑफ डी सी डी जीरो विल कम रेस्ट विल रिमेन सेम सो फोर्स विल बी एज इट इज थिकनेस विल बी एज इट इज ओनली थिंग दैट वी आर डायमीटर इक्वल टू डी जीरो एंड दिस वन इज अ फेल्यूअर ऑफ नट इन शेयर सो वी आर शेयर स्ट्रेस इन द नट इज टाउ एन विल बी इक्वल टू अगेन फोर्स टोटल रजिस्टिंग एरिया विल बी सरकम फरेंस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थिकनेस इज सेम एज पाई इंटू डी जीरो इंटू एन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टी फोर्स एफ इज सेम एज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय पाई दिस टाइम वी आर नॉमिनल डायमीटर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नंबर ऑफ थ्रेड इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व and thickness t is same as equal to 5 so the shear stress develop in the nut is close to 11.8 mega pascal the two plates are fastened by means of two bolt one and two as shown in figure if the bolts are made of plain carbon steel 30 ca 8 एस वाई टी इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड मेगा पासकल द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज फाइव डिटर्मिन द साइज ऑफ द बोल्ट दैट इज द डायमीटर डी ऑर टू फाइंड आउट सो वी आर गिवन इयर द फोर्स एफ बोथ द बोल्ट हियर विल फेल बाय सिंगल शेयर एट अ क्रॉस सेक्शन इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फोर इन टू डी स्क्वेयर सीज द फेलिवर इज शेयर यू आर टू यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ एस वाई एस एंड वी आर गिवन द वैल्यू ऑफ एस वाई टी According to the maximum shear stress theory we have value of SYS is same as equal to SYT divided by 2 and we have given the value of SYT equal to 400 so in this case we have SYT is 400 divided by 2 so we have SYS that is a yield strength in the shear will be equal to 200 will be mega pascal factor of safety n is given equal to 5 So in this case, we have allowable shear stress. Tau allowable will be same as S Y S divided by factor of safety equal to n. That is, we have two hundred divided by five. So in this case, we have allowable shear stress will be equal to forty mega pascal. Both the bolts fail in the single shear here. Because of a single shear, we have external force F equal to number of bolt is two. Multiplied by pi by four is a shear area into d square. Multiplied by the tau allowable. We have force F is given as five kilonewton is equal to five thousand. Number of bolt equal to two into pi by four into diameter d square, and we have tau allowable is equal to forty. So diameter you will get approximately equal to 8.92 mm. That is very much close to 9 mm. An electric motor weighing 10 kN is lifted by means of an eye bolt. So we have shown here eye bolt. The eye bolt is screwed into the frame of the motor. The eye bolt has a coarse thread. It is made up of a plain carbon steel of 30 C8, whose SYT is given as 400 mega pascal, and the factor of safety is 6. Determine the size of the bolt if the core diameter equal to 0.8 times the the nominal diameter. So to the eye bolt here, we have the electric motor is attached. The weight equal to 10 kN. This 10 kN will act in a downward direction that is the weight will act in a downward direction and therefore the bolt will come in tension so this value of w and this value of w is remain same so this one is a case of a tensile failure on the cross section equal to circular cross section which one is same as equal to pi by 4 into dc square so this one is the minimum area which one is resisting the load w So we have a failure of the thread in tension at the core area. We have given here the value of W equal to 10 kN and we have given the value of SYT. So we have SYT is given as equal to 
मेगा पास्कल फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी एन विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट यर अलॉयबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस सिग्मा अलॉयबल विल बी इक्वल टू एस वाई टी डिवाइडेड बाय फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी एन दैट इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स सो सिग्मा अलॉयबल इज क्लोज टू सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन मेगा पास्कल सेज द गिवन फेलिवर इज प्योरली बाय टेंशन सो वी आर वेट डब्लू मस्ट इक्वल टू दैट क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया दैट इज अ रूट एरिया इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फोर मल्टीपाइड बाय डी सी स्क्वेयर एंड मल्टीपाइड बाय सिग्मा अलॉयबल सिग्मा वी आर टेकिंग एयर बिकॉज ऑफ टेंशन फेलिवर वी आर वेट इज इक्वल टू टेन किलो न्यू टेन इज टेन थाउजेंड इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फोर इंटू कोर डायमीटर स्क्वेयर मल्टीपाइड बाय सिग्मा अलॉयबल इक्वल टू सिक्सटी From this, we can get the value of core diameter DC, which is equal to 13.82 mm. And he has given the relation between the core diameter and the nominal diameter. So in this case, we have nominal diameter is same as the core diameter divided by 0.8. That is, we have 13.82 divided by 0.8. So we have nominal diameter DO will come out to be 17.27 mm. The standard value is close to 18 mm. Hence, we'll select the bolt size equal to 18. That is M18. What is the static tensile load for M33? So we have nominal diameter equal to 33, and the two is the pitch. Of the mild steel, if the tensile is strength for the material is given as 400 mega pascal and the factor of safety equal to 2, and we have given the value of DC is equal to 0.84 times of D0. So again, this time tensile failure at the root area, and we have given the size of the bolt as M33. So we have nominal diameter DO will be equal to 33 mm. And we can calculate here the core diameter DC will be equal to 0.84 times of nominal diameter D0. That is equal to 0.84 multiplied by 33 is 27.22 mm. And on this diameter, the bolt will fail because of tension. SYT value is also given to us, which is equal to 400 mega pascal. And the factor of safety n you have to take equal to two, so we have sigma allowable will be same as equal to S Y T divided by factor of safety that is 400 divided by two. Sigma allowable will be equal to 200 mega pascal. Since the failure is in tension at the root area, so we have The static tensile load F will be equal to pi by four into core area that is D C square multiplied by sigma allowable. So this much is a maximum static tensile load that M thirty three bolt can take will be equal to pi by four. We have core diameter equal to twenty seven point two two square of it. Multiplied by sigma allowable, you have to take as equal to 200. This answer will come in newton. So the static load will come out to be 120.690 newton. That is close to 120.69 kilo newton. Eight bolts are to be selected for fixing the cover plate of a cylinder subjected to maximum load of 980.175 kN. This maximum load is due to the pressure inside the cylinder. The design stress for the bolt material is 315 mega pascal. That is the allowable stress is given as 315 mega pascal. What is the diameter of each bolt? Take core diameter equal to 0.84 times of DO. DO you have to find out. So we have this arrangement here. This one is showing the top cover of the plate with the help of eight bolt. It is fastened to the cylinder. This cylinder will exert a pressure force, which is equal to F max, is given as equal to 
980.175 kN. Is same as equal to the pressure multiplied by area, which is pi by 4 multiplied by diameter square, where D represents the diameter of the cylinder. This force is distributed in each of the bolt and one bolt will experience a force that equal to F max divided by number of bolt and therefore the bolt will come in the tension. So this bolt is under tension let's say F max by N is equal to F. This failure is due to tension and the bolt is weak at the root area. We have given the value of sigma allowable equal to 315. So we have a failure in tension at the root area. So we have F which is F max by N and we have number of bolt used is equal to 8. So N value you have to use equal to 8. F max equal to 980.175. This is the core diameter of the bolt and sigma allowable is given as 315. So this value is same as equal to F max divided by number of bolt n. So we have pi by 4 into dc square that you have to find out. Sigma allowable is given as 315. Maximum load is equal to 980.175 but in kilonewton so multiply by 10 to the power 3 divided by the number of bolt equal to 8. Solve this, you will get a core diameter DC is close to 22.35 mm. To find out the bolt size here, we require the value of DO. Value of DO is same as DC divided by 0.84. That is, we have 22.35 divided by 0.84. Approximately value of DO you will get equal to 28 mm. It means that you have to select the bolt size of M28. So in this question we can select the bolt size that equal to 28 which is based on nominal diameter DO. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on Google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for gate. Join the course directly from your mobile. The link is given here.